some new federal funding is heading to Long Island designed to help increase homeland security and create more jobs in the technology field. Robert Marzano reports. This new technology is designed to help law enforcement react more quickly to emergency situations. It can pinpoint the location of a problem and then pull up local security camera images so that first responders can get the information faster and respond more quickly. They'll be able to pull up the local data or the regional data and then have more information as, uh, as needed. It's just one example of the new types of technology being developed here on Long Island that's being used by Homeland Security to help keep us safe. And now $1 million in federal funding has been announced to create more of this type of research and development here at the Long Island Forum for Technology in Bethpage and it hoped the growth in the technology field will also create more jobs. With New York under a constant threat of attack, this new technology will help law enforcement, first responders, the unemployed, and the economy. Congressman Steve Israel says, with New York a constant target for terrorists, it pays to know that we will be safer. There, there is active and intense planning against us. There always has been, there always will be. So I don't accept that we have the money to subsidize farmers in Texas not to grow crops, but we can't invest in keeping my constituents safe here on Long Island. Scott Myers of VCore Solutions says that access to this new technology can help keep us safe and can be used at locations including high schools, train stations, and residential streets. And Israel says this new funding will do more than just provide jobs. One, it creates jobs. And this is an investment in training workers uh, and uh, training engineers who may have lost their jobs in a new career in Homeland Security Technologies, which leads us to the second benefit, which is it keeps us safer. In Bethpage, Robert Marzano, LI News Tonight.